Okay, boys and girls, well, let's go back and let's do a little bit of review um, on the parts of the plant and the parts of the flower. So let's start basic with our parts of the plant. We know that down underneath the ground, we have the roots. And then we know that this is the stem. We know that these are the leaves. And then up here we have the flower. All right, so the basic parts of the flower, of the plant, the basic parts of the plant. Let's move on and look at our parts of a flower. And we um, spent a couple days doing this. We're going to put it all together now. So let's begin with down at the bottom. Remember we have that sepal and that is this part that protects everything that kind of holds it, holds the actual flower all together. Okay. And this would be the stem, the stem and the sepal. All right, let's move on now and let's talk about our female parts first. So we know that this whole thing together is called our pistil, if you will remember. But our pistil is broken into different parts. At the top, we have the stigma. We have our ovary. Okay. Oh, and we have our style. And I'm just going to write the word style right there on it. Remember, our style supports the stigma. Then we have our male parts, and we call this whole thing together the stamen. You don't have to be doing this along with me, just paying attention. Now, these long, skinny tubes are called the filament. And at the tip of each filament, we have the anthers. And when you put all of this together, we have one flower, which is um, part of the plant. But now we've got it all divided so that we know our male and our female parts and how they work together to create new flowers. <laughs> 